We want to turn now to another attendee at the Munich Security Conference, Delaware Democrat Chris Coons. You now have heard the former acting FBI director come public after leaving office about what he saw as grounds for discussion of the 25th Amendment. Uh, what do you think of making those details public now? Uh, well, Margaret, um, as you heard from Senator Graham, this will almost certainly be taken up by the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, but what's striking to me about this conference, and frankly around the world, uh, is the way in which President Trump's abrupt decision to withdraw from Syria uh, has really unsettled our core allies, because he did so without consulting with any of our allies. A candidate, Donald Trump, ran as someone who would be unconventional, uh, who would break the mold and be unpredictable, and he has certainly overperformed in that category. But what is striking to me about uh, the 60 Minutes reporting uh, about the conversations that are alleged to have happened at the highest levels of our law enforcement community uh, is that folks who were career professionals were troubled enough by what they saw in terms of uh, President Trump's actions with regard to Russia uh, that they felt compelled to open a counterintelligence investigation. I think that should give all of us pause. McCabe himself has uh, been questioned in terms of his own personal behavior. He was fired after an IG investigation uh, found that he lied or lacked candor four times uh, under oath. So do you question the credibility of his claims? Look, the most important thing in my mind is that Robert Mueller be able to complete his investigation without interference. If we also need to have some uh, sunshine, some disinfectant here about everything that led to the beginning and the pursuit of that investigation, um, that strikes me as appropriate. So to be clear, when your colleague Senator Graham was talking about wanting to, on the Judiciary Committee, investigate things like uh, abuse of, of, of foreign surveillance uh, and, and the grounds under which uh, warrants were obtained. You support all of that? Uh, my hope is that Chairman Graham will be open to calling a number of witnesses who, based on previous testimony, also need to come in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. We should not be pursuing just one theory uh, or one line of investigation here. We should be looking at all the matters that are appropriate for oversight by the Senate Judiciary Committee. From what you heard uh, from McCabe himself, the, the, the pattern he was describing, is that an appropriate uh, response or an appropriate potential use of the 25th Amendment? Uh, well, I can't speak to that, having not heard the entire interview. Um, it is alarming um, that there were apparently folks at the highest levels uh, of our government considering whether or not our president is unfit to serve. Um, I don't think that this, frankly, rises to the level of some deep state conspiracy or a serious attempt at uh, what Senator Graham called an administrative coup. Um, I suspect that once this is fully discussed, uh, it'll be clear that this was a brief or passing conversation that's been taken out of context, but it does deserve scrutiny. Do you think there should be uh, a joint resolution, an attempt by Congress to stop the president from, from going forward with this uh, emergency declaration? Well, given that what President Trump is trying to do, to build a a big wall between the United States and Mexico to meet a campaign promise, something that Congress considered and rejected, uh, that the president wasn't able to secure over two years when Republicans controlled the Congress. I do think, uh, Margaret, we should take action to disapprove uh, of this um, excessive use of executive power uh, and make it clear that the Article I branch, the, con the Congress, is going to jealously defend our right um, to be the body that decides on federal spending and not let the president use this extreme measure as an end around uh, our appropriations process. If you do see a Democratic president in that office, uh, would you share the concern? Do you think Congress now needs to put some restrictions on uh, the executive's ability to declare a national emergency? Um, I do think that we should not set the terrible precedent of letting a president declare a national emergency simply as a way of getting around the congressional appropriation process. Presidents do have emergency powers. They can declare national emergencies. Uh, but if you look back at the history of that over the last four decades, um, they've overwhelmingly been done in the face of legitimate national security threats where there was no time or no other means of addressing them. I want to ask you about a foreign policy issue uh, as well. And you brought it up at the beginning of our conversation, and that's Syria. Senator Graham just made a pitch to our allies to commit boots, troops, to Syria and promised that U.S. troops would stay alongside them. What do you make of that pitch? 
Well, this is where Senator Graham and I agree, and the delegation in the meetings that I've been in um, has been speaking up with one voice, saying that an abrupt and total withdrawal of all American forces from Syria would have a terrible consequence um, of handing our allies in the fight against ISIS, the Kurds, uh, over either to Iran uh, or uh, to the Turks, and that we should be working in partnership with our allies to make sure that we don't allow ISIS to reemerge and that we don't allow Iran and Russia to dominate Syria. Uh, I'll join Senator Graham in congratulating the president and our armed forces uh, in ending the ISIS caliphate. Uh, but I think for us to pull all of our forces, literally every American uh, soldier, out of Syria would be uh, disastrous. Um, so how many should It would should have stay? consequences not just for Syria's security but for our allies. How many should stay then? At most a few hundred to secure both the Al Tanf base that is blocking uh, Iran from having a highway right into and across Syria, uh, and to secure a buffer zone between our Kurdish partners in the fight against ISIS uh, and the Turks. All right. Senator Coons, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Margaret.